What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. So the Acolyte trailer has been out for well over 24 hours. Everybody's had an opportunity to watch it and react to it and react they have, okay? You can see right here on Discussing Film, uh, the Acolyte trailer currently has more dislikes than likes on YouTube with over 160 thousand dislikes absolutely insane right and here's the breakdown right here uh six about six and a half million views a hundred and thirty five thousand likes one hundred and sixty two thousand dislikes okay and this was as of uh 133 local time today where is it at right now it's a little bit later oh yeah it's not getting any better okay it's not getting any better at all. As a matter of fact it's getting a whole lot worse all right you can see it right here 143,000 up 208,000 down. This thing is getting absolutely obliterated. It's getting absolutely destroyed. Okay. A disgusting film later on tried to come and add a little niceness to it. Oh, you know, the Acolyte trailer got 51 million views in its first 24 hours. You know, I'm assuming this is over all platforms. It only has 7 million currently. Uh, but yeah, 51 million views in its first 24 hours. It's the most watched trailer debut for any Star Wars series. Yeah, and everybody's dog walking it. Okay. This thing is getting absolutely destroyed and dog walked right now, man. Everybody is clowning it. Everybody is laughing at it. And then, of course, you know what's going to happen next, all right? You can almost just read the writing, all right? It's the tale as old as time, you know? Get ready for racist. Get ready for misogynist. Get ready for sexist, you know? Oh, the fan base is toxic. Just get ready, okay? It's coming. Get ready for transphobia and homophobia. Get, just get ready for it, folks, okay? The ist and the phobe folks will be out. As a matter of fact, they're practically out already. You can see the meltdown going on in this disgusting film tweet. Uh, Vi Geek Vibes Nation. The Star Wars fandom might be the worst out there. No, the Star Wars fandom is not the worst out there. The Star Wars fandom is the best out there, all right? Probably the most loyal fan base ever. You know, even the cats that have walked away from Star Wars, they still got their eye on Star Wars. Like, yeah, I walked away, but, yeah, man, how they looking today, man, you know? It's like a lot of Star Wars fans that just ditched Star Wars. I want nothing else to do with it, but still came out and watched Andor. I mean, there's a lot of people that, and there's some that haven't, obviously, but there's a lot of cats that went out and watched Andor. Andor got terrible ratings, okay? And viewership, I mean, at the very beginning. But slowly but surely, people are coming around. They're saying, yo, man, um, yeah, Andor was actually pretty good. You know, and, 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 and why? Because Andor was good. That's the reason why people give praise and love to Andor. But these clowns, they want to blame the fans. OK, once again, it's always the fans fault. How come they can never say, yo, Lucasfilm is, you know, dropping the ball. Lucasfilm is not giving the fans what the fans have been asking for. They're making content that the fans don't like. They made it that garbage Obi-Wan series. They made that garbage Book of Boba Fett series. They made a garbage Mandalorian season three and a garbage Ahsoka series. You know, they loved Andor, though, right? And everybody praised Andor and clapped it up for Andor, even though it got, like, some of the worst viewership. But over time, as people watched it. But they, yeah, that's what we want. We want good content. And see, w when they give us trash and we call it out as trash, it's our fault. It's the fans' fault. It's never Lucasfilm. It's never Kathleen Kennedy. Oh, these fans are the worst fans out there. It's bullshit. Uh, they want original shows that don't rely on the film characters and get angry uh, when they get exactly that. Look at Ben, man, a little suck up. You know, he wanted to post this to show that he's an ally. I'm an ally, guys. I got my thumbs up. Little idiot, man. <laughs> ben, what exactly were we supposed to get excited about in this trailer? Okay. What is it that, yeah, we want original shows that don't rely on the film characters and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we want that. But what was there in this trailer to get us excited about? This was a very generic nothing burger of a trailer. It was absolutely boring. There was nothing to see there. Why? Because they had some lightsabers? Oh, look, there's lightsabers waving around in the air. Aren't you guys excited? There's nothing in there. Okay, there's nothing in this trailer, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, man, it's like just because we don't sit there and give our little thumbs up to every single thing that Star Wars does, you know, lap it up like a obedient no like an obedient dog. We don't do that, okay? Some of us have discriminating tastes. And some of us are like, nah, this was nothing, okay? This is a nothing burger. This is what this guy can, you know, rock with. You know, he rocks with this empty trailer. You know, oh, here's some lightsabers. You know, I posted that up on Twitter. Here goes some lightsabers, you know, give us some fan service, some member berries, you know, throw in a little John Williams music. <laughs> Boom, Star Wars. 
That's all Star Wars is. Yeah, some people actually want Andor, you know? Some people want good storytelling. And nothing in this trailer said, oh, this is about to be a great story. And then everything we've heard about this sounds like it's going to be utter garbage. So, yeah, get lost with that. That's a dumb opinion, man. It's straight up. Uh, Harv, Star Wars fans are so great. Yes, again, it's always the fans' fault, okay? We get generic slop. Oh, it's our fault we don't like a generic slop, okay? Yeah, again, maybe that's something that's, maybe this says something more about you, that you like this generic trash that we got with this trailer. The trailer was boring, man. There was nothing there, nothing there, nothing at all. Star Wars fans, when black people and women, what, what does this even mean? <laughs> people can't even complete sentences. Star Wars fans win black people. And yeah, whatever, man. You don't know what you're talking about. Star Wars fans are probably the most insufferable fan base ever. It's the fans. OK, it's not Lucasfilm. It's not Lucasfilm. It's the fans. I, I, I bring this up all the time. You guys remember The Force Awakens? This is the domestic box office chart. All right. For all time. All right. Top lifetime grosses ever. All right. Who's number one? It's a Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens. This is a record that may never, ever be broken, ever. This is how Star Wars fans love Star Wars, all right? Before we knew any better with this Force Awakens trash, but we were all pumped. We were all excited. Like, holy crap, Star Wars is back, man. I'm ready. Let's go watch this thing. I'm excited. I can't wait to watch Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Oh, we got Han. We got Leia. We got Luke back. This is going to be great. People were flocking back to the theaters. This record, okay, more than Endgame, more than No Way Home, more than Avatar, more than all of these other top flight movies. This record, this $936 million at the domestic box office may never be broken, all right? This is the power of Star Wars fans, and they have flushed it right down the shitter, okay? I want y'all to remember that, okay? Every time y'all sitting up here talking shit about Star Wars fans, oh, they're, they're insufferable. Yeah, that's what Star Wars fans did, okay? That's how much we love Star Wars. And look where it's at now, okay? <laughs> look look where Star Wars is at now, the next Star Wars thing that's coming out. This is how bad it's gotten, okay? And you can blame nobody but Lucasfilm. Don't blame the fans for this, okay? Don't blame the fans. This is what the fans are all about, okay? We were excited back in 2015 for this thing. We gave Star Wars a chance. We gave it more than a chance. We put this thing at the top of the list. Okay, this nobody, nobody's going to come close to this. So don't blame Star Wars fans. This is who Star Wars fans are. This is how much we love and how passionate we are. You call us the worst fan base? Man, we the best fan base. All of the Marvel love and everything that Marvel did, they will, they will never accomplish this. Ever. Ever. Star Wars fans got that. Okay? So y'all can kick rocks with that dumbass opinion. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, Tebow, base. <laughs> How do you do, fellow Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, that's Leslie Headland, folks. Okay, that's Leslie Headland. Leslie Headland ain't a Star Wars fan, all right? She gets out there and disrespects George Lucas. Nah, she's not a Star Wars fan whatsoever. She doesn't understand it, okay? She's a Leslie Headland fan. And all she wants to do is just hijack the franchise of Star Wars and use it to peddle her own bullshit. That's basically who this chick is, all right? And everybody's hip to the game. We're not stupid. All right. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Once again, Star Wars fans are just the worst fandom going, aren't they? Yeah. Again, this is people that, you know, they hate you. They hate actual fans that have an opinion and aren't afraid to voice their displeasure. You know, when you come out there and you say, yo, um, this was trash. I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to downvote it because I don't like the, you know, I don't like where Star Wars is at right now. I'm downvoting this trash. It's garbage. Yeah. They hate you because you're doing that. Uh, reviewers are calling it everything from shit to fucking shit because it is. All right. That was a nothing burger of a trailer. At best, it's a nothing burger. At best, it's generic slop. And at worst, it's going to break cannon. It's just going to be garbage, man. But look, I'm excited. OK, I've told you I can't wait to the acolyte drop. Oh, my God, I'm excited for this thing. Are you joking? This is going to be phenomenal because we are going to get one of two things when it comes to this franchise. We're going to get either good Star Wars, okay? Good Star Wars like Andor that we can say, yo, man, that was a great series. Let's break it down. Let's talk about it. Let's go over the speeches, all the different character iterations, everything that's going on. Let's talk all about it, man. Andor was phenomenal. Or we're going to get the Acolyte and we're going to dog walk it and we're going to have fun with it, all right? Either way, we're having fun, no matter which way you want to look at it. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, that's just how the fandom is now, unfortunately. Not the fans again. They, they All of these people blaming the fans. Blaming the fans. 
Until you understand your greatness hates you, they will. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's greatness going on here. Y'all think there's greatness going on here? Yeah, okay. Uh, all the likes and dislikes happen before the trailer even play. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I didn't uh, screen cap it, but this thing got off to a decent start, okay? There was still a lot of, you know, uh, bad ratio in, but a lot of this got off to a very decent start. The likes were well ahead of the dislikes, but now, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, this makes sense to me. I think the plot and the trailer are so far so good. People just love to hate or this makes no sense to me. OK, yeah, nah, bro. It ain't just people loving to hate. You know, there was nothing there. I don't know what plot. What plot did you see in that? There was no plot there. Again, generic show at best generic slop at, at the very best. Again, man, these clients, they just want to hate, okay? They want to hate the fandom. Uh, Star Wars fandom is easily the worst fandom ever. All the dislikes is probably because there's no Skywalkers in the story. Nah, uh, the, the, you know, the dislikes are well-deserved, all right? Again, you watch a trailer, you love a franchise as much as you love Star Wars, and then you watch just like, what the hell is this, you know? And then based on the recent track history of Star Wars and all the garbage that they've been giving us, like, what do you expect fans to feel like, you know? Again, go back and look at the last thing. They did Ahsoka, okay? Live action series I'm talking about. I know the Bad Batch is out right now. Ahsoka, garbage, all right? Mando season three, garbage. Obi-Wan before that, garbage. Book of Boba Fett, garbage, all right? Actually, before that was Andor, but nevertheless, you understand what I'm saying. Andor was uh, between uh, Mando and uh, Obi-Wan, all right? Andor was fine. Everybody clapped it up for Andor. Andor disproves all of these people's dumb arguments, Everybody was like, yo, I saw some of the harshest critics of Star Wars saying, yo, Andor is good. Now, some people didn't like Andor, but most people did. OK, most Star Wars fans said, I want more of that. All right. And less of whatever this is. They think they're about to get Andor with the Acolyte. <laughs> they really think they're about to get Andor with the Acolyte. They ain't getting Andor at all. OK, y'all best believe that. Yeah, the YouTube comments, of course, a lot of trolling going on. Close your eyes. Alien, I can't. <laughs> Youngling, I see fire. Jedi Master. Okay, this kid is a lost cause. <laughs> yeah, what do you see? A martial arts film with lightsabers. Bingo. That's exactly what it looked like. Generic martial arts film with some lightsabers swinging around and some Star Wars music attached to it. That's what Leslie Headland thinks Star Wars is. All right? She has no idea how to make a film, how to make or a TV show. All right. For this franchise, I have no doubts in my mind. We'll watch it. OK. And look, I give everything a fair shot. I absolutely do. And if this is good, I will say it's good. OK, I will come out and say, hey, the Acolyte's pretty good. You guys should go check it out. I will absolutely say that. OK, but do I have my doubts? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I got a whole lot of doubts that this chick knows what she's doing just based on all the interviews that she's been given and everything that we've heard about this. OK. Talking about, oh, you know, we're going to highlight the villains, you know, and the Jedi were wrong about everything about them. The Jedi were wrong. Yeah, look, I already know what this thing is going to be, but I will give it a fair shot. I will walk into it with a completely open mind. Believe that. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see a little silhouette of a man. <laughs> hey, hold up. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaraboosh, scaraboosh. Will you do the man <laughs> I love the trolls, man. The trolls are the best. I see fire, uh, wrong universe. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see my mother researching spiders and Amazon before she died. <laughs> hey, look, Madam Web might be better than this garbage, man. I swear to God. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, close your eyes. What do you see? The intersectionality power wheel. There's going to be a whole lot of wokeness. There's going to be a whole lot of intersectionality going on here, folks. Get ready. If you plan on watching this, get ready because that's what we're going to be dealing with. Anyway, folks, what do y'all think about the Acolyte trailer getting absolutely destroyed and everybody blaming you, the fandom? OK, they want to blame you. They don't want to blame Lucasfilm. They don't want to blame Leslie Headland. They don't want to blame none of that. Nope, nope. It's the fans fault for not liking garbage. OK, you need to like more garbage fans. Then it'll be all right. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.